According to early estimates, the state of Colorado could lose 17,000 jobs as a result of last year's debt deal, which put a sequester of $1.2 trillion in cuts over 10 years in defense and federal programs that start January 2nd, 2013. And it's also hard to, to put it in perspective for our community here in Colorado Springs until we know what those specific plans are. The uncertainty of not knowing where the cuts could be is creating problems and frustrations for Democrats and Republicans on Capitol Hill because there's no way of planning for the proposed across-the-board cuts, which could also create national security issues. Some programs should have a higher priority than other programs, but if you cut them all equally, that's very poor planning. Of the potential 17,000 cuts statewide, Lamborn estimates two-thirds of that would impact Colorado Springs and El Paso County. But Brian Bin, the president of military affairs for the Colorado Springs Chamber, says otherwise. But I don't think it'll be severe. If you look at the mission sets that we have here in Colorado Springs, they're all very, very high priority. Right now, top priority on the Hill is to get lawmakers to create and agree on a new plan and stop the Budget Control Act before it automatically cuts military budgets.